Hey everybody, it's Michelle here from Wayward Witchcrafts and Books. Um, I have been totally MIA for like the past month and I am sorry about that. Um, I've not been feeling the greatest and been getting kind of investigations with my doctor. I'm fine, don't worry, I'm not like seriously ill, just not been doing that great and as a result I've just not had much energy to craft or do videos. I've literally just been getting up, going to work, coming home and going to bed and that has been my life for like the past four weeks. <laughs> um, so yeah, trying to just pull myself out of it and, and get back to doing the things I love and hopefully feeling a bit better with each day. So yeah, so I'm sorry for being on the quiet side but hopefully we'll get back to doing the things I love and um, yeah, crafting some more. So I just thought I'd come on. Um, I've got a couple of videos I need to do. I've got, I'm gonna show you basically hauls of things that I've bought, things that I've been gifted um, from people in my groups. And I'm also gonna do another couple of videos I need to, I've still got uh, last month's witch casket unboxing as well as this month's witch casket unboxing. So I'll do those as well. Um, and I think that'll be everything and then hopefully I get back at the crafting side of things. I have been doing little bits here and there, but nothing kind of noteworthy. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching if you are here. Just going to start um, with some of the gifts I have received. So this one here was from the lovely um, Becca Davies. I um, purchased this from her. Um, you, If you follow her, um, then you'll have probably seen the video that she did of this after she made it. If you don't follow her, then I suggest you go and follow her over at So Darn Twisted, and it's so spelled S-E-W. Um, and she has a full flip through of this after she made it. I'll do a quick flip through now, just not quite as in detail, because the majority of you will have seen it. But yeah, I loved this one. And I actually thought it had sold, I didn't realise it hadn't, and when she told me it hadn't, I was like, well, I'm just going to have to have it, because clearly the fates have spoken and it needs to be mine. <laughs> um... So yeah, I absolutely love it. Sorry, something's just fell out, but I'll fix that. So yeah, as you can see, she's got the metal kind of embellishment there with lots of dangly bits, another metal bit in this cute little book. So sweet. There, and then this is the front cover here. As you can see, it's like a little um, fairy door with the textured cardboard behind it, some dried flowers and this is the back, well she's obviously put the metal corners in as well, some more kind of dried greenery there, very nice, I'm just going to move these wires because they're getting in my way, perfect, um, so yeah, um, as I said she, you have seen this or you as well if you go over and um, see her channel, but just some little journaling spots, a wee fold out with more tuck spots and tags and things in there. Very, very nice. Little belly band. Just in this nice little lace bit here. And then we've got a nice decorated page here with a wee secret journaling spot. More here. This is a little envelope. And it has got another little kind of envelope inside it. Some more tuck spots, super cute. That lives in there. And then lots of lace on the sides. More dried flowers, more lacy bits, more tuck spots. Same there, more journaling bits, more fabric. I love this one. This pulls out this earth and it's got a journaling bit at the back. And then it opens up like this. So cute, tuck spots in there stuff in there and there is some tuck spots here as well so yeah I love that one it's um very cool I'm gonna have to give it a go and try and make one it's a little bit different and I like different more journaling space there I love this book page here you know me I love my books so yeah that calls out to me I skipped a page there sorry so another tuck spot belly band more here lots of laces like that so nice um, more kind of tuck spots here, they're cute, and pentagram, another journaling spot, some tabs, cute little mini envelopes with little tags and things in them, and another wee fold out bit there, just folds all the way out and kind of down that way, so 
So yeah, absolutely love that. It goes in there, put it that way. Um, another tab and another cheeky hideaway bit. This bit is like a hidden paper clip that comes off. It's a pocket as well. Some lovely tags here. Another kind of hidden paper clip. <clears throat> Cute little um, like specimen card. Some more cheeky tuck spots. A little envelope. That's all been embossed and coloured and dyed and splashed. It's so pretty. Um, and again, another kind of Cricut cut out. Beautiful paper is used. More hidden tuck spots. More space just for me to add bits. A lovely little waterfall, which is the cutest thing ever. And then inside this pocket that we have this. And again, if you go on to Becca's page, she kind of goes into it in more detail in her little um, flip through. But it's just a case of some notes there. Go upside down. Some notes there. Um, some stuff kind of tucked in here. And then, oh, I hope you shut that right. That shut. And then the same at this side. Um, some tuck spots and more stuff in there. And there's also stuff in the middle. Little embossed journaling spots. So they're super duper cute and I absolutely love them. So, and then that just closes like that, as you can see. Yeah, this is just lovely. And then it fits into that little pocket bit. Where did I put it? I lost it. Here, there we go. And there. And a lovely lace again. And again, more kind of dried flowers. It flips open, which is also another envelope. Belly band, again, the book pages. I love it. And then same with this little kind of specimen card slash journaling spot. More um, distressed looking papers, more journaling um, pages. Same here, another belly band, which is what this was that fell out, I think. Um, this is just another little open book thing. Um, I'm going to just pull that off. It kind of opens there and then it opens there. It's got a tuck spot, another tuck spot here, and then it does the exact same on the other side. It's little notepad and opens there. So, so cute. I absolutely adore this journal. All the love and care that went into making this, the hard work, just, yeah, absolutely beautiful. So that lives in there. Another little um, embellishment. More kind of tucky bits. And same there. Love this jar. More beautiful papers, and yeah, that is the end there. So yeah, as you can see, very, very chunky beast. I'm gonna have to get a ribbon, I think, to kind of keep hold of her. Um, but yeah, I love her, and I'm gonna use her. So that was the lovely journal that I bought from Becca, and she was so very kind to um, add in one of these lovely vintage books that she got. This is um, Charles Dickens, The Uncommercial Traveller. And I mean, it, oh, it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous to look at, look at it. It's so old and so fragile, but it is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, the illustrations are just something else. And it says it's a first issue of this edition in September 1907. Now, you all know I love books, as in reading them, as well as using them in my journaling. I'm not sure I have the heart to use this in my journaling, if I'm being honest with you. Um, so I might just read it and just keep it in my collection. I will see how I feel. But yeah, it's a beautiful book and I love it. So thank you so much, Becca, for adding that in. That was a lovely surprise and I am super happy um, to have received that. And I feel very lucky to have a Becca Davies original. And um, it is something I will treasure forever. These things here are just so I've, um, if you're in any of the um, journaling groups that I'm in on Facebook, you probably saw a couple of months up, uh, a couple of months ago even, that I posted up um, that I had got a new iPad and downloaded Procreate and never done digital art before, so it was just kind of learning things and how to work it. 
so I've been following a lot of tutorials on YouTube and yeah I've been doing lots of kind of background journaling and things um and again I actually sent the photos of them to Becca to see what she thought because she has obviously digital art background photography background she is you know the the expert in these areas so I appreciate all her um feedback and constructive criticism and I made them really bright lots of bright blues and purples and pinks and just you know too much for printing off for using in journals and things like that so um not something I would ever consider kind of selling or anything like that but um I thought my inner my, my inner oh my goodness I can't even speak <laughs> I'm sorry my printer even um, I was running low on ink and I knew it was, I wasn't going to get, um, much more out of it. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to try printing these draw, like, digital arts that I've made and, um, see what they turn out like in, you know, like faded ink. Um, and I kind of, they all kind of came out like pinks and whites and pastel pinks and things. And I actually ended up quite liking them. So I'm going to use them because they're quite nice. So as you can see here. This was one I made um, background with the trees, kind of put some lines like as if it was going to go into a journal. Um, yeah, I really liked how that ended up printing off with the faded ink. So there was that one. This was, again, I tried to do it like, I tried to lighten it on Procreate first before I, I printed it and it came out more faded like that. Don't like this one so much, but like I say, I'm just using up last that ink. I wasn't worried. Um, this one here just kind of splatters this was like a a cloudy effect like supposed to be the sun kind of light glare coming up it's not bad this is like a galaxy one again it was originally blues and purples and things you see the shooting stars kind of looks like a psychedelic something happening there <laughs> um this one kind of looks like a ripply wave effect in the blue and the purples and that that was originally in. It's pink that it kind of came out on. Is it supposed to be that way? I think it's actually supposed to be that way. Yeah. Um, again, this was just another one. This is, bear in mind, these were all blues and purples and super, super bright. And this is just the faded kind of looks that I got when they came out. And then there was this one, kind of bubble effect. And then this was how the landscape one that I did came out. Again, not bad. Don't hate it, don't love it, but it's not bad. Another landscape one. It didn't come out the greatest, but hey, I'll still use it. Bright colours for something. And then same with that one. Again, came out not bad. So yeah, it's like I say, it's not something. These were just prototypes, I guess you could say. Me playing around, getting used to Procreate and seeing um, what I could do with it. So yeah, it's just just fun practice for me really and just using up the last of my ink my printer so that's what those are i've also done a few um etsy hauls and this was some harry potter themed stickers ephemera etc etc um so yeah this is as you can see there harry potter film vault um, volume 1, Forest Lake and Sky Creatures. Um, some of them weren't the greatest prints that I was sent. They're obviously not printed to very high quality. You can barely see that, but it'll do for a background for something, I'm sure. Um, some little pages of info on some of the char uh, characters, my goodness, the creatures even, in Harry Potter, so the Norwegian Ridgeback, like Norbert, the Mer people, the Grindylows, Aragog, of course, lovely Ron looking terrified there, I would be looking as terrified as Ron if that thing grabbed me too. <laughs> um, more kind of fast facts about Aragog, and then it kind of goes on to the page of Buckbeak, Acromantulas, Ukrainian Iron Bellies, these are just single sided, yeah. Chinese Fireball, more dragons, majestic animals, the Hungarian Horntail, the Thestrals, there's the start of the book, Peak Page. This is, again, Film Vault. It's the Forest Lake and Sky Creatures. That's obviously the centaur. I don't know if that's friends or whoever. 
Harry on the Ancestral. And some more little bits and pieces here. Again, we've got another creepy looking Grundilo. Um, another Centaur. Ooh. Another smaller page on the Thestrals. Same with Buckbeak there. And again, we've got Hagrid in that one. More on the Centaurs. And again, this is just like an introduction page. And yeah, more on Ferenz, the centaur there. More dragons. Oh, that Grindelo looks friendly, doesn't he? <laughs> um, chapter on lake dwellers. Um, oh, I said that really funny. Dwellers. I don't know why I said it like that. Dwellers, even. <laughs> um, sky dwellers. Forest dwellers. Nice, creepy Aragog's nest photo. More dragons and more Grindelos by the looks of things. And then in this little packet here, just get it open if I can. Oh my, here we go, here we go. Um, that's just saying thank you basically for ordering. Um, this here is a page from the Daily Prophet about... Um, Harry Potter saving the Philosopher's Stone, uh, um, advert for Madame Malcolm's robes, and about Nicholas Flamel passing in the coming days. Um, again, some of these are not the greatest. Like, yeah, I don't even know what that is supposed to be, who it's supposed to be that's kissing, but anyway. So, yeah, some of them are not usable, but you know what? I didn't pay that much for them. I'm not that worried. Um... So like a Hufflepuff crest, again, that looks to me like it's the Slytherin common room. Sorry, I'm trying to focus it for you. It's just not the greatest um, quality of printing. Um, another Slytherin one. That is a Gryffindor one. And again, it's spelt wrong. I don't know if it's a different language because that obviously doesn't say Ravenclaw, but that's the Ravenclaw crest so if you recognize that language please tell me what where it's from um and then some stickers we've got the sorted hat harry ron hermione and dobby uh kind of funko pop version of harry and his broom harry again with his wand the slytherin crest and harry again with a book so yeah that is um some of the Harry Potter goodies I've got. I have got more as well. I um, actually took, I've got so much Harry Potter stuff and I love Harry Potter. Um, and I'm, you know, I love Harry Potter's and I love the books. I love the films. I love the story. Um, I'm not getting into the whole JK Rowling debate thing. Um, I'm just separating the author from the books and I'm not going to let what she does, um, ruin that story for me so yeah I'm not going to get into the debate about that so please don't come at me for liking Harry Potter anyway um as I was saying yeah I really like Harry Potter I really wanted to do like a a junk journal or a scrapbook um on Harry Potter and just kind of make it my own so I'd been collecting things over the years and just kind of shoved it away in a cupboard and then um Sandra from one of our Facebook groups, Sandra Murrell, I think that's how you say your surname. I'm sorry if I butchered that, Sandra. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, she we, we participated in Iraq, and she, which basically um means a random act of kindness, where you just send people their wishes um of what you have for them, and she had said one of the things she would like would be some Harry Potter themed stuff because she was doing a Harry Potter journal. So I had some stuff, so I sent it to her and I thought, you know what, I really need to just, you know, pull my finger out and get going with my Harry Potter journal. Um, so yeah, I thought I'll collect some more bits and pieces and go from there. This is just packaging. Um, this is some Harry Potter fabric that I bought off of eBay, as you can see there, like all the um, book covers. Very, very cool. So I got that off of eBay. And I th these ones were from Etsy, so as you can see, it's the platform nine and three quarters fabric, which is lovely. And then I love this one, like Hedwig, the Gryffindor crest, um, 
the Nimbus 2000, his glasses, the um, his letter of acceptance into Hogwarts. Yeah, just love all that. Um, all right, what else do I have? I showed y'all. Oh, do I? Maybe I didn't show you. No, I did. I took photos and put them on Facebook, but I didn't actually show you these. So this was part of that rack that I was just speaking about. I had said I was wanting some fabric scraps, some metal embellishments, things like that. Um, and again, lovely Becca. She sent me some lovely fabric scraps, as you can see. Lots of lovely metal embellishments in there for me to use. And some beautiful scraps. I mean, look at the shimmer on that. Super pretty. Some lovely black lace. Some nice kind of calico fabric. Nice vintage flowery strips. All part of, of like a fabric doily or a collar or a cuff. Some more vintage looking ones. Yeah, so lots of pretty, pretty ones. And then Sue also sent me some lovely things. Um, oh, I'm dropping metal embellishments. That's never good. Um, so th this is just stunning. Look at that gold. Can you see it shimmering in the light there? Very nice. Lovely little strawberries. And flowers. Nice and summery. Pretty colours. All ready to be used. Um, I like this one. This one's nice. I'm not really a flowery person normally, but I'm quite enjoying that. Um, nice. Some nice patterns. It's like a softer kind of sheerer material. Same with that. Let's look at this pretty heart. It's so pretty. I love this little kind of um, checked. Look, what would you call that? Not checked. Um, plaid? Would you call it plaid? I don't know. Anyway, um, lots of little vintage colours and patterns and yeah, very nice. So they were all from the lovely Sue. And then this one was, oh, that's that one there. This one was from the lovely Sarah. Um, and she had gave me, it's just packaging, sorry guys, um, some more nice scraps of fabric in there. How cute are they, little bunnies? Nice orange one, a nice kind of geometric pattern. And some more flowers, little bows. I like this one, this one's cool. Kinda, I don't know what it reminds me of, but it's very funky. I like it. These sunflowers are gorgeous. More flowers. More little flowers. Look at these little bears and bunnies and dogs going for walks. So cute. Some umbrellas or parasols. And look, Winnie the Pooh, Eeyore, Tigger and Piglet. So cute. Um, what else have we got here? Like a distressed looking fabric you could use either side I suppose um, a more busy kind of oriental pattern and some nice kind of see-through flowers this is just some washi tape that I got off of Etsy it's a Harry Potter one you can see the Hufflepuff crest, Butterbeer, Cedric Diggory badge, Lightning Bolt, the Snitch, the Gryffindor crest, the Prefect badge, the Quidditch team, the Sorting Hat platform nine and three quarters ticket the monster become monsters and then i assume there's more underneath um i don't think there's anything no that's just wrapping um and here was i think the stickers maybe yeah so this is the stickers that i got again all harry potter so we've got the hogwarts crest drawn hogwarts um the dark mark Little cartoon snape, what's he saying? Potter, if you do that to your horn slug again, it will be a hundred points from Gryffindor. Yes, there you go. Ravenclaw, my house, can I just say? Um oh, that's a little cute cartoon Harry and Hedwig. Um another kind of line drawn one. Fluffy, of course. Dobby. 
Oh, look at this one of Sirius. I really like this one of Sirius. Um, yeah, I don't want to go through them all. Oh, Hagrid. Hagrid is worth a mention. Always. We love Hagrid. Um, so I'll miss where they're up to no good. That's the um, Dementor shape with the Stag Patronus in it. A cartoon one. Uh, I'm not going to bore you going through all of these. The Crest again. Slytherin one. Um, the Gryffindor one. Um, who's that? I think that's Aberforth, is it? Is it? No, it could be Albus actually, because that looks like the Elder Wand. Hmm, anyway. Um, Hogwarts Express. Another one, of course, the Golden Trio. Fox the Phoenix. The Ford Anglia. Amazing. The Hufflepuff Crest. Um, some little cartoon versions. Yeah, I'm just, I'm not going to bore you with this. Oh, that, is that Errol? Could be Errol. Um, Gilderoy, Lockhart, yeah, lots of fun um, stickers for me to use. So yeah, I got them off of Etsy as well. So that is kind of my Harry Potter bundle there. Um, that's just a bag. I also wanted... Um, I thought I'd quite like to use to make a journal cover out of wallpaper. I didn't really find any samples of specific Harry Potter wallpaper. Um, I need to go back to B&M or mind you, they don't think they do wallpaper anymore. Uh, the range or something and, you know, get some samples. Um, but I saw this on eBay and it's not Harry Potter specific, but it's very magical. So as you can see, you've got like the castle there. There's an owl up there. There's a pirate ship, which could be like the Durmstrang ship. You've got the wolf, which could be Lupin. That could be Hogwarts, that could be Hedwig. And then on the other side, you have a dragon, which again, could be part of the universe. So yeah, um, I liked that. So I thought I'll get that sample. Um, and again, these are all just, um, what do you call it? packaging because I like to keep packaging because you can use packaging. I also decided to do a wee um, craft earlier haul and by we I mean huge and I spent too much money. <laughs> um, so yeah I bought some things that I've been wanting for ages and I kept saying no because it was too much money buying it all at once but then I thought I would treat myself. Um, so yeah that is what I have done because I deserve to be treated now again. <laughs> let's open this bad boy up. Right, let's see. So, we have got the Stampedia Magic Forest paper, um, which is absolutely gorgeous. Um, I'm not going to open them and go through them all. There's pages out there that will flip through the papers so that you can see them. You don't need to see me doing that because that's just going to get really boring. But yeah, I love these papers and wanted them for ages, so... I decided to purchase those. Again, falling back into the bibliophile thing. I had to get the vintage library because just look at it, it's so pretty. This is one of my favourites where it's like houses made out of books. Amazing. This just, yeah, I'm in love. So there's that one. I wasn't in the market for this one, but I saw it and really liked it. So um, this is Old Lace. Got some nice um, patterns and things. So yeah, I'm liking that one. Wanted this one for ages and so well, because it's very me. Stamperia Cosmos. Um, yeah, it's got the moon, the wolves, feathers, the owls. Yeah, it's just all me. Love it. So had to get that one. And then I got the vintage library collectibles um which is 10 double faced sheets and it's got different patterns on it you can cut them out or you can use them as backgrounds um i don't know if you can see them there kind of what they look like on the inside um which is just so so nice so i had to get them i also really liked the hour way collection not enough to get the 
big paper pad but I liked a lot of the elements of it so like the suitcases the books the boots um some of these I've again I said I'm not a big flower person but I like these because they're quite vintagey looking the feathers the like ticket stubs and again I'll let you kind of see them there the cameras are so nice um these are like stamps and postcards the maps so pretty um again this oh, um I'm not doing a very good job at this yes there we go um the suitcases yeah, I've got envelopes, ticket stubs, yeah. Just beautiful, so I had to get that. Um, this is the small version, so the 8x8 Magic Forest. So it's not the same, as the, the big one is the backgrounds I got, because I thought I'll get the backgrounds in the 12x12 because I'll use like more of that. But I didn't want to get the 12x12 in these ones, because the likes of her face takes up a big chunk of the paper in the 12 by 12 would be too big um in a um journal but as i thought it would be okay this size same with the door and things like that again i don't know if you can see them like yeah she takes up like half the page so the 12 by 12 it would have just been too big um i mean you could make it work absolutely but it's not the look i would go for so that's why i, I trimmed it down same with this this is too beautiful to cut up in a 12 by 12 i can use that to size on this so yeah, I thought that would be nice and um, got cut apart seed as well. So I got that one and then I got the same with the um, Our Way one because again, as I said, I don't like it enough to want to have the, the big, big ones, but um, I can use these as backgrounds and cut aparts and things in a journal. Um, I also got these rub-ons. I absolutely adore a rub-on. I love the way they look. And this was part of the Cosmos Infinity set. And again, just, it's me. This is 100% my vibe. Um, so yeah, as soon as I see anything with moons, celestial, cosmos, um, lunar, you know, anything like that, that is right up my street. So yeah, I had to get those. This is part of the book one. Um, so lots of like vintage print um, books, the quill and the ink pot. Yeah, I had to get that. And then again, same here with the books. And plus it's got a moon in it and it really might, it reminds me of the moon um, in <coughs> the, um, the, what's it called? The nursery rhyme. The, oh, what's the name of it? <laughs> Why is my mind gone blank? This is this is what's been happening. It's um part of the not feeling well. My brain's not working properly. The um the cow jumped over the moon. That nursery rhyme. What is it called? I ca I honest I can't even remember. I c I don't think I could tell you my name right now. Anyway, if you can remember the name of that nursery rhyme, please comment it below because it's going to annoy the hell out of me all night now. Of course, I can Google it, but what would be the fun in that? Um, so yeah, that's what that moon reminds me of. Anyway, stop ranting and get back to where it was. <laughs> um, more books, so yeah, super pretty. And then this is a stamp set um, as part of the Vintage Library. Love these kinds of stamps. Loved this. Yeah, again, right up my street. Um, some Vintage Library Ephemera. Um, these are really quite thick. They feel like almost like chipboard. They're not as thick as chipboard, but they're not far off. So these could be used. Same with this for the Our Way collection. I think these are chipboard. They're even thicker than that last one. So again, they can be used. Um, these ones are back to slightly thinner. Not chipboard, but definitely thicker than paper. Um, part of the Cosmos one. And the Magic Forest. Again, this feels like chipboard. It's quite thick. And then, same with this one, this feels like chipboard, it's a really thick part of the vintage library. Um, and then, sorry, that's just my order, I'll just turn that around. What else do I have? Um, this is more Magic Forest Ephemera, and this is just card stock by the feel of things. And I also decided, you get a little um, lollipop from them as well, which is super nice. <laughs> um, I also decided I wanted to get into... Um, 
resin art. I keep seeing it and it's really intriguing me and I really want to start making stuff because, you know, I can't just have one art that I like. There has to be lots of different arts and crafts I like. Anyway, yeah, this is this is just what it's like being inside my head. It goes in five million different directions. It's exhausting. <laughs> um, so anyway, this was um, one of the resin moulds I bought, which is, as you can see, book spines which I just fell in love with and this one is the um, signs of the zodiac so there's one that says my journal there's one that says life and then you've got all the signs of the zodiac in there as well so I thought they were cool as bits so yeah that is pretty much my hauls for just now I'm not buying anything for a long time because I have no money left <laughs> um, so I'm definitely on a craft buying ban um, but that's a good thing because I don't have room for all of this and I need to use it and I need to just stop buying and hoarding stuff and not use it so yeah I'm gonna use it um, might be a slow process but I will do it so yeah I just thought you would like to see that haul hope you enjoyed it any questions pop it in the comments below I do try and get back to people um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I would be eternally grateful. And I apologise again for my not being able to speak, putting on funny voices because I'm a bit silly like that. Um, forgetting words and sentences and just being my weird and wonderful self. <laughs> um, so thank you if you've made it this far. I appreciate you watching and um, I will see you in the next video. Okay, thanks guys. Bye.